destination, I like to slow down to 90 knots. All right, so 2200, 90 knots, or 2090 knots? 2200 should give you 90 knots. Okay, so let me get up to 90 knots. Okay, look what's happening here. Tell me what's happening with those needles. Okay, 90 knots. What's happening here? Tell me what's happening. It went to the right. All right, what does that mean? I gotta go to the right. That's right. What's the glide slope doing? It's right, we're right below it. We're just slightly below it. So the glide slope's coming in from the top, and it's telling us to start a descent. Now it's centered. What do you want to do with the throttle? About 1800 is a good target initially with those winds. What about the localizer needle? What's it doing? We've got to go more right. Very good. All we want to do is go right and hold it. Now, what's the glide slope telling you now? It's coming down. It's kind of unreliable, but it looks like we're a little bit low. All right. Now, what you're doing is you're basic. I'm going to assist you here. I want to show you the proper way to fly an ILS, which okay. we talked about it earlier. Okay. Okay. The proper way to fly an ILS, stay with me on the controls. Okay. Proper way to fly an ILS is to pick a heading and hold it. Pick up a constant rate of descent and hold it. Still a little bit fast. Go ahead and trim those up. Throttle back a little bit. There you go. All we're doing now is we're flying constant rate of descent and holding headings. Constant rate of descent, holding headings. Okay? So what's the needle doing now? Right or left? Right. Let's go five degrees right and hold five degrees right. Do not move off that heading bug. You're just going to relax and hold that heading for about 30 seconds. See what happens. What's the glide slope doing? We're above it. Very good. You're going to hold 500 feet per minute descent for about 30 seconds and see what happens. It's kind of bumpy today, but we can do it. Okay. That's how we fly ILS. Okay. Concentrate descent, headings. Concentrate descent, heading. You adjust your rate of descent depending on what the glide slope is doing, and you hold your heading depending on what the localizer is doing. Okay? You're drifting off your heading. That's not good. We said we're going to hold it, right? All right. You got to hold your heading. Just remember these words. I must hold my heading. I cannot get drift off my heading on the Nihilus approach. And we said 500 feet per minute descent. And that's what we're going to do. Not bad. Okay, what's the MDA? The minimum altitude we can descend to. What does it say on there? Remember the circling minimums? It was 580. 580. So we got to stay here now, level. No, we don't level. We keep going down to the other center. 229 pop, 28, wind 31015, you clear the land. Clear the land, 28, 29 pop. Okay. That's what we're going to level off. Go ahead and level off. We're going to pretend we're in the clouds, hand on the throttle. Level off is hand on the throttle. We're just breaking off the clouds. Do you see the airport? Yes. Okay. Where is runway 28? To the left. All right, go ahead. Circle to it. Do not descend until you're in a normal position for landing. Do not descend below your minimum descent altitude. You gotta give it more throttle, more pitch up. Stay at 580. If you can't stay at 580, get up to 650. But do not descend until you're in a normal position for landing on the circling approach. 
So let me know when you're in the normal position for landing. It should be in a normal position now. Wind 30016, gust 20. Uh, you know, got me all confused here now. Is that 2 8 right there? It's 2 8 right there. Alright, so you got to go in for it? I would turn towards the runway and not get away from it. I don't know why you're going away. But normal position for landing is if you're nice and stabilized. Okay, what do you think? High. High, but can you descend below? Yeah. Are you comfortable yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. That's normal position for landing. You can descend below your circling minimum, which is 580. Almost straight down the runway. Very nice landing. Nice landing. Very nice landing. Nine pop, where are you parking? Uh, we're gonna get off the runway and uh, pick up clearance back to Republic uh, to that about. All right, make a uh, left Charlie, left Sierra. Charlie Sierra to that about. Left on Charlie, left on Sierra. Yes, sir. Copy? Yes, sir. Copy. All right. Two nine pop all the way down to sea. Take a Sierra all the way to approach the two eight and call clearance for that. Uh, where, where are you going with me? Out of below fourteen. You out of below 14, to that about. All right, I'll give it to you, just go down. Left turn, Sierra, departure in a 2-8, to that about. Okay, he said stay with him, so okay. we're going to stay with him. Yeah, so we're just going to go right back to the runway, right? Yep, yep. He's uh, expediting this. How was that, all right? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Beautiful landing. That was a sweet uh, ending to the old... <laughs> Yeah. When you asked me about the airport, I mean, I knew the runway was there, but I was waiting for you to tell me to turn right into it. Yeah. Uh, the reason why you could not descend below the circling minimums, where are you going to descend to? You right. don't see the runway yet. Right. You're, you're in an angle. You're circling. So if you descend below your MDA without seeing your uh, runway, you may have trees, antennas, you know, whatever it is. You're not right, yeah, you're going to crash into something. You're going to yeah. crash into something, and yeah. that's never going to end. pop after departure flight runway heading out of below 1,400 with me. Departure 119.3, squawk 4370, ATIS Delta. Same ATIS Delta 4370, departure with you at below 1,400, runway heading 29 pop. So we go right up to the whole short line? Yep. All the way to departure at 2-8. You guys make this look so easy. So calm and collect, man. We were, I was bumping around. I can't change the radios like that. It's very bumpy today, yeah. fortunately. Yeah, it's good, though. It's good practice. You ready to go? Me? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Turkey 432, not a pop. We're ready to go. Runway 2-8. Not a pop. Wind 31018, goes 2-2. Two, two, you could have to take Clear for takeoff 28, do not a pop. We don't have to do anything, right? We, we didn't no, use any flaps. No, we're good. We just kept everything on. Yep. We didn't even switch tanks. All I did is switch the uh, transponder Aetis. code. And we're at a below 1,400. So we're going to climb up to uh, 1,000. Right, and then we'll stay at uh, 28. Yeah, we'll stay at 1,000. Yeah, it's good. And uh, I'll give you some uh, vectors over to 32 as we come back so you can. Black Square, we're there. This is us, this. This is us right? Clear right. You okay, Joe? Fantastic. Okay, Alphation Echo is now current. Long on 10 minutes, 2 9 or 9 or 2. 9 or 9 or 2 now. She's up. Okay. Air speed's alive. No enunciated lights. Runway is clear.
Green, green. 60 knots. Little back pressure. Right rudder. Runway heading. It's your heading, Buck. Beautiful. Seventy six on the climb. You think you can fly the airplane with the uh, foggles? Or too bumpy for that? With the foggles? Yeah, yeah I could do it. All, All right, runway heading up to one thousand. My controls? Your controls. Go ahead, get yourself comfortable with those. I got it. You got them? Yeah, that was quick. I have them, they're flipped down. That's convenient. You want 1,000, you said, right? That's right. Primary pitch instrument. What is that? Up to yeah, you level two level. pop radar contact, sail two, you can proceed on course, farming down. 800 feet, uh, climbing 1,000, proceed on course, do not a pop. Primary pitch? After you level off, what's the primary pitch instrument? Altimeter. What's the primary bank instrument? Turn indicator. Sure. Heading indicator. Heading. Sorry, you read the wrong one. This one. That's right. Heading indicator. That's what we're going to be focused on. Heading indicator and altimeter is primary instrument for pitch, primary instrument for bank. As soon as we get off New York, I'm going to give you some rid of vectors. Okay. Runway three two. And we'll do the GPS approach at three two. Gonna be a little shorter than the uh, expected because we were running a little bit late on departure. All right. Okay, Dennis. I don't like to see you getting on with the trim wheel before you're established where you're supposed to go. Remember, we talked about right. that last time. All right, well, there's a lot of... It I doesn't matter. You fly the plane, okay. get it to where you want to go, okay. and then relieve the control pressures. Because what's going to happen if you constantly trim... Next time. Yeah, you got to be all over the place. Right especially when it's bumpy. Let's go a little bit more to the left now. We're heading up 26. Let's go with 250. Relax a little bit. You're you're very tense. Okay, stay with me on the controls for a second. No, I, I don't okay. feel tense. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Stay with me on the control. Just kind of feel what the airplane's doing for a second. Okay. Primary instrument pitch is altimeter. I'm locking, I'm pegging that altimeter. I'm supporting whatever I read from the altimeter by the other instruments. I know it's bumpy, but I can maintain that alt altimeter plus or minus 50 feet if I really try without getting drifted off my altitude. See, I'm not letting, I can kind of feel the waves. Yeah, okay. And I can control it. You see, for the last 30 seconds, how much did I drift off my altitude? Nothing. Not much, right? No. Kind of read the waves, read the waves. Okay. Kind of feel what the airplane's doing. Okay. It's pretty much trim. You're doing much better now. 2-9 pop, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, free change approved, and there are numerous targets, uh, Southwest of uh, Farmingdale. Thanks for the heads up, uh, to not a pop. Thanks for your help. Twelve hundred. So long. Not by. That was southeast. My correction. Southeast of Farmingdale. Have a good day. Yeah.
What did he say about Palmydale? He said there's numerous targets. Uh, I don't see nobody. I'm looking outside. You focus on the instruments. All right. I'm going to be the uh, radar controller right now. Okay. And we're going to stay at 1,000 feet. I'm going to go ahead and just give you radar vectors. Okay. For the GPS approach, runway 32. Cherokee 4329 to pop, left turn, heading 230. You could just call, you know, call the 230. 29 pop. Excellent. You notice how you're doing so much better on the altitude now? Yeah. Yeah. What else we're doing with a heading bug when we get a new heading? Always set the heading bug. I know it's bumpy. If you get dizzy, let me know. No, I'm all right. If you're still holding it fine, no problem. <laughs> 300 but, uh, generally, when you're flying instruments, you're in the clouds, you're in thunderstorms, you're in, you know, moderate turbulence. This is what it's going to feel like, yeah. you know. Unfortunately, when you're flying instrument and flying an IFR flight plan, it's not going to be smooth air. You're more than likely to get in and out of clouds and, you know, have thunderstorms. You know, you're going to have rain. You're going to have precipitation. That's what it's going to feel like. It's going to feel like that, just like that. Okay. Yeah, plus you can't see. And you can't see. That's we can right. see today. <laughs> that's right. You can't see. A All you can see a little is bit, your yeah. instrument panel. Right. Uh, and believe it or not, this thing will give you everything you need to know until you're 200 feet above the touchdown zone elevation. Then you have to look out and actually see the runway, look for the runway. Alright, 2 9 pop left turn, heading 190. 2 9 pop left turn, 190. If you want to go ahead and switch tanks, it's a proper time right now, but you don't have to. To stay on one tank is such a short flight. 190, 295, 1,000 feet. Alright, GPS approach, runway 32 into Republic. What do we need to do with the CDI on the GPS approach? Change it to GPS. Beautiful. I know it may be a little difficult, but see if you can fly the plane and load up that GPS approach on the screen. So we got to go to procedure. Very good. Select approach. Very good. And uh, what are we doing? 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. If it's bouncy, you can take a break from that, fly the plane, get it under control, kind of do back and forth, back and forth. Enter. Vectors. Enter. Load. Enter. Okay, now the only thing you have to do now Procedure. is activate the approach. Right. But before you do that, I want you to fly the plane. Okay. Back to a thousand feet, back to your heading. Back to your heading. Back to your heading. Don't go right, go back to your head. I tried to reach for the button, and my hand clicked on the <laughs> avionic switch for the bump. <laughs> I had no intention to do this to you, <laughs> but it all turned blank on me. But we'll get it back. I didn't even see it. It, it just takes a little while to load up. I would get the eight as well. Sky conditions, 4,000 scattered, ceiling, 8,500 broken, 1, 4,000 broken. Temperature minus 1, 2.5. Two nine pop, left ten. turn, 1, 5, zero. Two, two nine pop, left turn, 1, 5, zero. Oh my god, same thing happened to eight. Notice the AMN runway 6 and UPS. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I swear, I just wanted to reach for that GPS button and it clicked the whole thing on. Second time already. Left guard, November 555, shot November, Long Island Tower, runway 24. Uh, see what back taxi here. Taxi via Alpha 1. And uh, back taxi runway 24, cross runway 10, hold short at 32 left. 
Island Tower information echo. Uh, the runway is 24.3 miles south southwest. Okay, watch it. 4329 and pop, turn left heading 120. Left turn 120. Uh, I was one Quebec Fox right there pointing that one. That's so one Quebec Fox right, your number two traffic is closed in. Uh Got a quarter mile final. Welcome back, Foster. Positive ID traffic turning base now. Alright, check 432 that pop, turn left to the heading of 360. Left turn 360. Republic uh, Tower, check 432 that a pop is 10 miles to the southeast. Information Zulu. Cherokee 432 on a pop, Republic Tower, Port Middle of Bay, on final for Australian runway 32. Port the final, straight in 32, 2 not a pop. Alright, 3 4 0. Cherokee, Victor Tango, ground, ground point 6, have a good one. Out of Papa. Turn left, heading two eight zero. Maintain one thousand till established on the final approach course. You are cleared for the GPS approach. Runway three two. Left turn two eight zero. One thousand feet. Two nine pop. What's the next thing we're looking for? Glide scope. Left and right. Left and right. Where were we? Left, of course, or right of course? We're, we're right of the course. Right, of course. Okay, good. So, we're waiting for what this needle to do? To center. Start coming in, right? Right. We're going to bracket the needle. You're listening too much to Stan. Stan is always yelling at me. <laughs> bracket the needle. Why? That's way too much Stan, man. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth, I'd rather listen to you, but I can't afford you, you know, two days a week. I know, man, <laughs> I know, it sucks. I told Doran that just yesterday, I said Stan is kind of boring. Yeah, I don't know, I, you know, I, I mean, you know, you're much more, uh, you have much more experience than I do and everything like that. He's a pain in the ass, man, you can't pass nothing with him. Yeah, he is tough. Tower, good morning, Cessna 1868 Bravo. Uh, you know, so that's why you're thinking, uh, take off for a southeast my computer crashed. My, co my computer crashed about four Cessna months ago, so I haven't been doing this in a later. Take off, right turn southeast, bounds approved. Uh, 
So now, uh, the Rod gave me his laptop. Now I got it. I've been, this week I've been doing it again. You know. Um, what's happening, D? What's happening? Let's focus on the approach. What's happening? The needle's coming in. We're okay. on glide scope. What do we need to do when the needle's centered? Slow down. Oh, stay on that course. Ah, what's the course inbound? Uh, on way three, three two. two, three two zero. Wow. Oh, yeah. Now, what's the needle doing there? Went past it. <laughs> That's right. You want to anticipate that. You know, you never want to, you know, Chase over it. control and S turn. It'll never get you back to where you're supposed yeah, to I got go. It. Remember on the ILS what we said about the heading? Yeah, I'm going to hold it right now. You've got to hold your heading. We're going to do it right now. Every instrument approach you're doing in the clouds, out of the clouds, you got to hold your heading and you got to just wait. Now the needle's to the right. What heading do we need? I'm on 3-2. We've got to wait for it to come back. Yeah, but the needle's to the right. What heading do we need? I don't know. Will 3-2 get it back in? I'm, I'm on 3-2. Oh, it may. Okay, let's I'm hold waiting for it. it to come back. Yeah, let's hold. Let's see what happens. Welcome back. Fox 5 reporting down Do that a pop uh, over the bay. 3-2. Yes, welcome back. Fox shot clear. Touch and go. Welcome back. Fox shot. Uh, this is going to be my last landing. And back to Echo. Excuse me? Go back, Fox shot. This will be my last landing. And then to Echo ramp. Yes, welcome back. Fox shot. I need clear to land. Clear to land. Welcome back, Fox shot. And tower, Gulfstream 860, Papa Mike, how do you read us? Gulfstream 860, Papa Mike, I read you 5x5, five five. he's uh, trying it again, we believe it's the microphone connection. Okay, you got it, we'll, we'll go back to him, uh, we'll taxi and hold short of 3-2. Uh, uh, to that a pop, uh, past the beta. Uh, five, Roger, can you hear that? calling Cessna traffic in a right base turn to a mile final. Inbound, to not a pop. Okay, we are following traffic is a good time to get 90 knots. Show me a change of airspeed while you're at straight and level flight. Slow down to 90. I'm looking for traffic. You stay on the instruments. 32 and pop, you see the Cessna on the right base, joining the mile final. I got him. One o'clock. Copy, traffic in sight, 1 o'clock, got the Cessna, tonight a pop. Thank you, number 2, following Cessna, clear to land. Number 2, clear to land, 3-2, behind Cessna, tonight a pop. Okay, D, what's the needle doing now? To the left. All right, where do we need to turn? To the left. Very good. Your MDA is about 500 feet on this baby, all right? So let's start a descent to your MDA of 500 feet. And hold that needle center. Still got him, Joel? Uh, negative. He should be he should be on our nose by now. Sorry, I kinda zoned out. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's an early morning, no problem. Very nice, Dennis. Down to 500 feet, AGL. Now, you're still doing 110. I would like to slow down to about 80. Oh, I see him. 80. Yeah, we need to slow uh, down. Tower, Tower Flight 7, did we rate it again? 3-2. Tower Flight 7. Yeah, right he's right under our nose. Good on that release. What's that? Well, he's under our nose, D. Tower. I see him right below my nose. Okay. Yes, sir. What are we doing, fellas? So you okay. on a pop, you got to go around. Looks like you're a little too close. Copy that. Then we'll try to break it off to the left here for a sec. If you want to do a S turn and try to slow it up, that's good. Yeah, we'll give it a slight shot here. <laughs> Dennis, this is not set. No, you can't be doing 110. Don't shoot an 860 pop of my cold short record on your release. That's the one Quebec Fox truck for Alpha 5, please. For Alpha 5 and then uh, ground point 6. Alpha 5, the Quebec Fox truck. Alright, Dean, land the plane. She's all yours. Yeah, that worked out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 
when I took my knees flying, I had to go around. Yeah, it happens all the time here in Republic. Yeah, it was crowded, man. <laughs> we were lucky it didn't take us too long to take off today. Very nice landing again. Center line, wind correction, beautiful. We're going to try and target Alpha 4 instead of Alpha 5 so we can beat this guy. See Alpha 4 coming in? Yeah. High speed left? Yep. Yeah, you know, like... <laughs> wind check. You, you sure, you two down at Papa, exit at Alpha 4, take Alpha, continue to echo, cross 1. Alpha 4, Alpha, continue to echo, cross 1, two nine at Papa. Just keep moving, beautiful. South flight 7, Southern runway 32, cliff and take off, wind is 290 at 1, 5, peak gust 2, 5. Play take off, South flight 7. I got your after landing check, just continue make a right straight here. ahead, and then make a right on the Alpha, and right. cross runway 1. Right, right here. Right here, bear right on the Alpha, right, right. now. Mm -hmm. Right turn now. And straight ahead, all the way to Echo. Just keep moving. Don't even yeah. touch. Don't even touch your base. You should have. Uh, you you got to remind me, like when we we're over the outer shoreline, you know, about the uh, speed. On the you watch the tapes on the uh, on the previous approach. I told you you need to slow down to ninety knots. I know. I, ten miles. I know that. So, and I think I mean you watch the tape. I I think I mentioned it at least three times. Slow down to ninety. Yeah, but, but no big deal. You're okay. focused. You're very focused. But here's the deal. Uh -huh. When you want to drop down to 500 feet a minute and you're at 90 knots and then you drop the throttle, the nose goes down and you pick up airspeed. Yeah, but the key is to slow down first. That means throttle back to idle. All right, that's way too fasty. I got go. it. Much better. I like this speed better. Okay. To slow down, especially if we talk. The, to slow down, the first thing you want to do is throttle to idle. Okay. Hold your pitch. Whatever the exact same pitch you were holding. One degree nose down, hold that one degree nose down pitch. The aircraft will slow down. Down flight 7, contact okay. approach, 5.7, have a good flight. Yeah, yeah. Seven seven down flight down. Down. Okay, so the next time, we, you know, we gotta, you got to remind me, we're working my... I'm, I was worried about the traffic. I wasn't thinking yeah. about the speed. No, no. I'm outside. When your instruments, you're the foggles, you're focused on the instruments. I didn't say I was looking for the traffic. I said I was worried about the traffic. Oh, okay. Because the two of you lost it. So I was like, uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> you know, rookie stuff. It's not you. It's me. No, no. It's good. It's good. It's all good. I think yeah. overall this was a good... Uh, I like those landings, man. Well, how many landings you got so far? 600? <laughs> 600. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's secure that baby. I didn't do the pocket. I didn't do this to ah, something. Oh, push it. No big deal. Let's secure, secure that baby. It. ELT silent. Avionics off. AC off. off. Mixture full lean. Yes, sir. Mags off. Mags off.